Hello everyone, Kerry the Crafter here, that's C-E-R-I the Crafter, and it's Marguerite Miller time again. So, um, today we've got, what number is it? I've got a bookmark in here somewhere. Somewhere, 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 there you go, let's put the bookmark to one side. We're on week number 25, so almost halfway through the challenge, because there's 52 weeks obviously, so that's what the prompts are. There you go. We'll go through those in a second. Just want to say hello to everyone. I'm a bit lax in doing the comments because I'm actually preparing for a TV show in two days time. And guess what? I'm not ready yet. So I want to get this done and immediately go back to prepping for the TV shows because that should really be taking a priority, but I don't want to fall behind in this challenge. So I want to make sure I do the challenge anyway. So let's move this to one side. Now I'm almost certain that's where it can be seen because I've done a bit of a tester and I know that lady had a bit of a problem with her screen width so I bought in slightly from there. Normal people or things that I use, I've got Pritt Stick, um, my spreader, pair of scissors and a tear ruler and instead of a glue book I've got some old old glue pages that I'm going to use. They're sort of recycled bits of paper that were just hanging around and as I've cleaned out the craft cave I wanted to try and use up things that have just been lying around doing nothing. Yes I could collage onto them but to be honest with you they're just they're just scraps and they weren't good quality paper to start with anyway. So let's have a look at something in the shape of a triangle was the first one. So I've got this rug that's got triangles on it and I've got this that's got triangles in it as well. So that's one of the elements. I do have another one I'll share with you in a second. Um, instructions. Okay, these instructions are in an old engineering book. So that ticks that box as far as I'm concerned. And I quite like the color of those. Um, a formula, whatever that means to you. Uh, so I basically got some mathematical formulas and logarithms, and I thought I can use those. That that would tick that box for me. Um, something stenciled. Okay, I have this stencil. Guess what? It's triangles, and I'm going to use this color because this color goes with this in this piece. And I've also pulled out another piece that I might want to use. It's this color. So I thought, right, let's stay sort of with that theme. And we all know that's one of my favorite colors to use anyway. Um, a place a place actually was going to be the cafeteria or the restaurant. So that's that one sorted. And bonus was a crossword puzzle. Well, luckily enough, I had these in my stash. Funny that. So that's what those are for. So I think we're ready to go. So I'm just gonna crack on and get this all done. So I hope everyone's doing well out there. Britain is in the middle of a darned heat wave. It's, it's so hot here, without being too gross, I'm stood here doing nothing and I'm perspiring. Guess what though, there is washing on the line. There you go. So where do I want to start with this? Right, I think I want to start with some of the book pages just as background stuff. And that's the background stuff as well. So probably a bit of tearing as we go, but I'm just gonna get basics down here because I know there's several layers of stuff going over the top of it. Um, yes, apologies to those of you who are waiting for comments, but the last week and this week have been incredibly busy for me work-wise, and I haven't really had time to get to my laptop to answer comments. And I like to answer them on my laptop because doing them on my iPad, it just, I don't know, it's a lot more fiddly to do, so I like to do them on, on it's not... Um, on my MacBook because it's a lot easier for me to handle all of the questions and come up with suitable answers. So, so basically that's why you've not heard much answering from me. Um, there will be a time though next week I'm in a hotel for two nights while I'm prepping up at the studios. Oh, that was a bit of luck. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my laptop with me and before breakfast I'm going to sit down and slam my way through the comments and depends on what time I finish filming on the Wednesday, I might be able to get some done on the Wednesday as well. So I'm hoping to catch up. It's funny because the planet seems to be lurching back into action again. 
So of course, all my deadlines have suddenly become really, really tight. So everything I was planning to do has suddenly either taken a back seat or been moved to the side. It's it's been weird, really. I'm like, okay, I, I can do it, but it's it's a bit of a toughie. Right, so I've got those are the instructions. That's that. I like this bit, so I'm going to just yes, yeah, so I'm going to take half of this. And I quite like the fact that it's going to go across there. Now I know there's more to go on this page and it might actually get covered up. So I don't need these pages because I've already got those covered. I just want to stick this on. Hopefully this glue page isn't that sticky that I'm going to get stuck to it. Mm, it's getting to the point where it needs changing. So, so there you go. Um, reading the comments though, because even though I haven't answered them, I have read a lot of them. You all seem to be doing okay out there. Um, we've all got our own personal struggles out there, I know that, so, but you all seem to be surviving, let's put it that, which is a good thing. Right, let's move on to a little bit extra. Right, I did have a feeling I wanted to tear that right down the middle, and I have half on each page, so I'm just gonna fold this in half, just to give me the middle. Not that anyone's gonna come in and measure it and say that's not the exact middle, but, I want it to be the middle. So, and it's my collage, so I'm gonna do it. There you go. Um, let's see what else is happening in the world. Uh, we, Britain is supposed to lift um, the last of its COVID restrictions um, this coming Monday. It's Saturday today, and I can't remember what day, to, oh wait, I might be able to tell you. It's the 12th today. So on Monday, which is the 14th, we're supposed to be lifting the last of the restrictions, although there have just been announcements going out that... Um, I stuck that in the wrong place. I was going to stick it along there. Never mind. Embrace the mistake, that's what I say, and make it work. Um, so they're now saying that they might delay it for potentially another month. Now, that doesn't really affect a lot of people on a daily basis but if you're someone who's actually cancelled an event or moved your wedding two or three times you are not going to be happy at that announcement because currently so i think it is yeah currently you're only allowed 30 people at a wedding so so about that noise so people have actually been moving their weddings to and fro back and forth all the time trying to get get everything sorted out um and there are weddings, because I know a wedding planner, and she's got weddings planned next week. And these people have moved and moved and moved this. And if it gets moved again, then there's going to be some very upset brides out there. Let's put it that way. Um, I think I just want that piece. I don't want the chairs in it. Um, so I do feel sorry for events managers and events and and those trying to hold events, to be honest, because it's it's a hard one at the moment. It's a very hard, I think that'll go in the parking lot, to be honest. Um, it's a very hard decision to have to make about, do I go ahead and get married? And it's not just a case of, she'll get married, then you've got the florist, and you've got the cake, and then you've got the registrar, and then you've got the venue, and then, it's just, it is absolutely endless, the things that are all tied together. You've got photographers, you've got cars, you've got dresses, you've got bridesmaids, you've got, it, it's, it's a minefield, an absolute minefield, so... Um, luckily enough, it's not one I have to deal with, but that doesn't make it any better for anyone else, does it? Right. Um, I'm looking at this. I've got this bit here. I want to put something there, and I've got that there. Now, I've got these, which I know are going to cover quite a bit of space. And I've actually got this, which I'm thinking might go there. I don't know why. I don't even know why I pulled that out. It's, it's a piece that's been in my... A magazine snippets box for a while and I keep looking at it thinking oh when can I use that when can I use it I never get around to using it but when they said triangles and I opened the box it was actually the thing that was absolutely sat on top and I went you know I'm taking that as a sign I'm taking it that that's that's supposed to be used today right um I'm thinking how let's move these papers to one side how clever can I be with my tearing? Or should I say, how accurate can I be with my tearing? I'm wondering whether I could put two rows of numbers up there. 
Let's see if I can do this. Sorry, obviously can't speak and tear at the same time at the moment. Let's take that out of there. Okay, we'll call that a success. Um, and then thinking a piece along there, so if I continue it with the two, actually I could match those up with the bit I've just torn off. Is it two I need? Yes, two will be a fine, or just over two, should we say. So, and I put that in there. I think if I put those down now, and then decide where the rest of this goes, but I want to do the stenciling before I do this, so let's just put that to one side, so let's get that stuck in. Um, so yes, I do feel for wedding events and planners, and obviously because I'm a baker and confectioner, I've got lots of friends in the cake industry, and you can't sort of make a wedding cake and put it to one side and go, oh, we'll collect it later, because it'll go off, it'll go stale, so... So they're in a dilemma as well, because obviously they've laid out for ingredients. Some of them have even started baking and decorating now. And if the client cancels, I mean, in these situations, the client client doesn't have a choice. It's being forced upon them. But does that mean that they pay for the cake and basically don't have it? Or you can't resell someone else's wedding cake because... <laughs> If no one's having a wedding, then no one's having a wedding. So it's it's a toughie. I don't actually know how people are coping with it, to be honest with you. So, right, let's so I've moved that down. I needn't have done that, had I? Right, let's put it back. It's about the right place. So let's bring in this stencil. And I've just dropped everything on the floor. Right. So I'm going to use one of these makeup sponging brushes because it's it gives a softer effect. Let's take that out of the way because that's going to really annoy me because it's going to get under my feet. And I'm thinking I want this down here. So a little bit of this, just circular motion. And I want it to not be too heavy. I want it to be subtle but there, should we say. And I don't really want to go across the crossword. I probably should have done this before I stuck the crossword on. But you know what? Hindsight is a really good thing if you've got it. So, okay, loving that. I'd like a little bit, I'm gonna turn this around. I'm gonna put a little bit up here as well. Just, just a trace of it down this one edge. Just to carry that through. Part of me wants it one more place. But then guess what? That's me and my threes, isn't it? Um, maybe we'll do just a little smidge just in there. Just see if I can get those few in there. There you go. And I quite like that they're slightly darker. Right, let's put that to one side. That needs to be cleaned later. Oh, actually, it's archival. I probably should clean it out, shouldn't I? Let's get a bit of a wet wipe and see if I can get that off there. Yeah, nearest, damn it. It's not going to harm it. So, there you go. Yeah, if it was acrylic paint, I would have actually cleaned it immediately as well because it's nothing worse than um, having a stencil with dried paint on it because no matter how much you soak it, you're not going to get it back. It's not going to, it's not going to become soft again. Do I like that in there? Or is that too many chairs? I think that's too many chairs. Right, I'm at the stage where... I could just put pieces of this in there and call it quits, or call it done, should I say. But I do think I want to look at options. Um, that's quite cute. Creativity is a wild mind and a disciplined eye. Dorothy Parks. Don't know who you are, Dorothy, but wise words. I might use that, actually. I wasn't planning on that. I ever just spotted it. But I think if I do what I want to do with the... Uh, puzzle pieces, then maybe that, that will have a home. So, right, let's go about there for this. So, um, I do know from reading the comments, there have been one or two questions and I'm gonna address them when I answer the comment. 
and I'll make a note of it to talk about them next time because when I was reading the comments I actually was sat having breakfast and didn't have a notepad with me so I, I didn't I didn't retain what the question was so but I will endeavour to do that later so right because that's small I think if I put the big one there that's a bit of an optical illusion but I don't mind an optical illusion occasionally Take that off there. So, I'm still frustrated about American planes and visas and that being held up. I keep crossing my fingers that they're going to announce that they're going to allow that to start up again because I really do want to get my plans for next year sorted out. But I suppose I shouldn't really be selfish. I'm trying to be patient, but... I need to be I need to be savvy about it. It's it's not about me, it's about the world being protected at the moment. So right. So I'm just gonna take a strip of this and I'm gonna put it across the top up there just to carry the black and white upwards. I mean I was tempted at one point to go, ooh, shall I do a completely black and white? Um and I changed my mind against it. Oh, that was actually one of the questions I do remember. Someone did mention and I can't remember whether it was Marguerite Miller or whether it was another one of my videos. Because I'm releasing two videos a week now, guys. So um, one will always be the Marguerite Miller. The other one could be in any of my other playlists or categories. Um, and they were saying, would I consider doing a black and white journal? Like just black and white, which I thought was interesting. And yes, I have considered it. I just don't think I've got enough stuff to make... A solely black and white. I've just spotted this as well. Guess what? Kerry seems to have a lot of this stuff hanging around. This colour is all over the place. Um, although, no, that's not going to be used here. I quite like this. And I like the subtlety. I want to tear it down, though. I'm not sure how successful that's going to be, because obviously it's card. So let's, let's try this, and hopefully I don't ruin this. Let's, let's leave who it's written by, because that would be rude to take that off. I'd like it relatively small, to be honest. Because I don't want it to be the dominant feature of the page. But I do think it'll add a nice focal point to the page. Right, and then what I'm going to do is I am going to distress the edges. A lot. I'm going to distress them with this colour. So just to accentuate that bit of... I think this is called Dark Teal. This is Dark Teal. No, this is Seafair. Shows how much I know my products, isn't it? Or the products I use, they're not mine. Goodness knows, if I if I owned Archival, I'd be very, very happy. So there you go, I like that. That's, that's given me a little bit of a framed piece. Gives me a little bit of an accent point on this page. The question now is, where do I put it? I always feel anything that needs to be red needs to be on this page. But I quite like that cluster there. I think up there might work. See, if it's down there, I feel there's something else missing. I mean, this is slightly annoying me and I may have to put something in it. But what, I don't know. I think that's going to go there. Now, I'm going to have to put a fairly large amount of glue stick onto the back of this because it's card. I mean, I could reach and get the art glitter glue. I could get the Fabri-Tac, but it, it, this isn't something that's going to be opened and closed a lot. It's not a journal journal. It's, it's something I'll open occasionally in the future, I'm sure, to have a look through, but I don't know that it's going to be under the dress that a normal journal would be for opening and closing. I like that. That um, that was a good choice, put in that there. Right, so here needs to be something, and I am thinking it needs to be generally this colour scheme. I can't imagine I've got flowers that colour. Um, am I using stamps too often? There's stamps in there, stamps in there, stamps in there. Oh, I'm guessing the answer is probably yes. Okay, if I can't find anything else, I will use a stamp, but... I'll have to have a look and see. Um, let's have a look over here in the ephemera 
book. I've been trying to fussy cut and get some more stuff put in here. So, I mean, I could use a white flower because there's no way I'm going to have a flower that that seafair ocean colour. Okay, I'm not offended by that. Let's leave that one there a second. There's nothing jumping out that's that colour. And these feel a bit heavy to me for what I was looking for. Mushrooms isn't going to work. Birds. Is there a bird with that colour on? I'm not really sure there is. There's that. I wonder whether a kingfisher. Hmm. Let's just... Take this down, lift this up and have a look. No, that doesn't work. I just, it's funny because I don't know what I'm looking for, but when I put something down, I know what, what's right and what's wrong, and that was definitely not working. So I don't really want to put one of those labels in. More labels. I don't think a whale or some fairy balloons or anything is going to go in there. A flower, a big flower. Right, I don't. So I'm, I'm down here pulling the flowers out because I need to be able to move them and see. Um, actually, I'm not hating that. I'm not sure that there's is flowers the right thing is sort of my question, not whether those are the right flowers. I quite like the way that picks up some of this colour. I'll move it down slightly. My instinct wants to put it that way. I'd have to lose that, but then that looks upside down. What about that way? You know, I think I'm going to go with it. I think I'm going to put that down. And I'm going to not, I'm not going to distress the edges either. I think that distressing the edges would be wrong in that one. It would take the delicate nature of it away. So let me just put the ephemera book by before I see something else and change my mind. Which, guess what? I would probably do. Right, that piece of paper needs to go out of the way. Right. Maybe on an angle. I think I like that better, actually. So it just goes around that. Is there anything else I need on this page? I'm looking at this thinking that really annoys me. So let me pull in a little bit of text from something else. What's that? Oh, it's language. Don't need that one. Let's put a strip of this in there. Oh, again, that's the trouble with these old book pages. The pages are so fine, you don't actually realise you've got more than one piece. So I'm just run a line of glue up that. It's in a foreign language, but it's not one of the criteria, but that's actually one of the things I like about this challenge. You are allowed to, let's put it that way on, you're allowed to play around and add other elements should you feel that it needs it. And I think that works lovely there. I don't want to stick this there. Let's pop this over and just get this glue down. And then I believe it or not, I think I'm finished. So that's been 23 minutes, 23 and a half minutes. That's pretty darn quick for me. But I don't think it was a difficult one to do, to be honest. Right. So I wanted to slot that there. That all over there. I think that's done. I really do. I'm looking at this thinking that needs something, but then is that just me wanting to fill a space? Um, let's have a quick little look in the in the basket and see if there's any so in, in this basket, which is where I keep scraps and stuff that I've used in the past in this. That's that's going in the wrong direction anyway, right? Oh that's my old tax disc. That actually may not be bad. It's not the right, right colour, but it does bring in that circle. I was kind of saving that for numbers. 
no, that colour is just a little bit off for me. Oh, wait a minute, there's a tea bag cover. Oh, um, is that right? No, that's not right either. I'm having a picky moment, people. Um, oh, I'll be kind. Actually, I don't mind that colour. I wish I'd have seen that before that, because I would have probably put it over there. This feels like it's, it doesn't have a home. It just feels like I'm putting it on there for the sake of putting it on there. So, just having a quick look through this box one more time, see if there's anything in here that grabs my attention. Actually, that's, that's indigo. I think I'm going to put that in there. I know it's a clothing tag, and clothing tag wasn't wasn't the um, wasn't one of the prompts. But I do quite like the way that sits in there, and it just adds another element to this. Again, I'm going to put quite a bit of glue on this because obviously it's a heavier piece of cardstock. I'm going to put that in there. That sort of breaks up the whole of that a little bit because obviously the, this isn't the spread for a butterfly is it so right I think we're going to call that that done I, I don't want to reach for anything else because I know a lot of my spreads have become really complex and I quite like the idea that that's not as complex so I think we're going to call that quits guys I think we're going to say what's done is done um I can't think that I'll add anything in the future to this but I might do but I'm not planning to I think I think this kind of works for me so let's pull it in so you can have a front seat view of it let's pull that down there this this up here needs maybe if I just stencil a few little pieces up there see aren't I terrible I never really finish so let's just put Put a few little bits of that up there. So let's see if I can do it without getting all over my fingers or everywhere else. I just feel that this void up here just needs a bit of something. There you go, I think that was it. And I'm thinking I want to carry this down this side. You know that I added just a little bit. I think I do want to put some bit across here. Just, just a hint of, just to bring the whole scene down. There you go, that pleases me. And again, that breaks that up. So let's put that to one side, put the lid on the ink. There you go, so that's a bit different to normal, isn't it? Yeah, I'm quite liking that. That does tie in, that, all, that pulls it all together, that void is gone. I quite like that creativity. Well, this is someone being creatively Wild mind, discipline, discipline, you'd have to be disciplined to do the crossword. Wild could refer to the flowers. Why am I trying to find a story to fit the collage? So there you go. That's just the way my brain works, I suppose. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Obviously, there'll be one next week. There's another video coming out. I believe it's, oh, when is it? I think it's either Friday and Sat or Saturday as well, which is another one from me, but not this. So look out for these. I try to get them out here on Wednesdays. So... That's me. That's all of my different social media links. Again, the website will get put in there when I find out how to work out the coding for it. It would be lovely if you shared this, you subscribed, if you are already subscribed. Thumbs up is always a nice thing to see. And obviously, I will get to comments as soon as I have time to get to comments. So thank you very much. Um, this is Kerry the Crafter, C-E-R-I the Crafter, signing off here, saying goodbye. Goodbye now.